Hello everyone, I'm back after uh, a bit of time off. Um, let me just quickly explain what happened. So basically I felt a bit burnt out. I've gone flat out with this uh, YouTube project since uh, January and I didn't stop. I haven't really had any time off the up day here and there, but I've literally been recording every day or recording most of the week just to try and get as much content as possible out there. Um, I've learned it. it it doesn't work like that so um i've got a new schedule now after taking a bit of time off to i was just getting um fed up of playing football manager which has never really happened to me um i think it was that and the the announcement of fm25 basically being delayed that kind of just made me go Ugh. like it just just got a sour taste in my mouth so i had a bit of a break i went a whole week i think i went a whole week without playing football manager um and then it gave me the urge back and now I've got a really enjoyable save that I do offline with Bruno Magpies and the Gibraltar national team, which I'll talk about gradually in my videos. Um, but obviously I've still got the unfinished business with Socio and I've got the retro database Coventry save as well. And we've got till March now, so we've got more time than I thought we had. Um, so I thought, you know, why not try and finish off the Socio save, try and get them to win the um the french league and the champions league and also then see how i get on with the coventry retro save as well maybe i'll once i've done the social save i'll think of a uh, a quick short-term save to do before fm25 um but yeah so i just want to say thank you to the people who reached out to me um do appreciate it and um this is sometimes this is where i'm going to be doing my videos my girlfriend's working from home um she's in the lounge and then i'm in the conservatory and we've got the kitchen in the middle of us too and when i do the recordings in the kitchen when she's in the lounge um the dog sometimes plays up or she'll be having a bit of like a uh, bit of fun with the dog and you can hear it i can hear it in the background so if i can hear it you can probably hear it so i'm in the conservatory it's nice and cold in here which is how i like it um i've got a bit of a setup here let me just move that so you can see um these are some of my favorite football shirts um what i'll do is probably pick some different ones every time when i'm in here just to jazz it up a bit make it a little bit more interesting i'm trying to get that there to stay there um but yeah like i said thank you for your support i'll leave the intro as it is now and um but before i go actually i'll just let you know so wednesdays and fridays will be um fm content and then probably in a month or two maybe i'll start doing tw9 wrestling simulation content again i kind of just didn't really enjoy the game so i've started watching this tw9 youtuber and i really like how he's playing the game so it's making me interested in doing it again so we'll see um but yeah anyway right on that note i'll be back in a sec with our first game for socio right so let's just get everybody back up to scratch where we are so in the league, we're currently fourth after 14 games played. We're doing really well this season. Uh, let's see if there's any standout wins. Um, let's have a look. So we drew with Monaco. We lost 5-1 to PSG. Um, playing in the Europa League. We were doing well in the Europa. Actually, we're actually unbeaten in the Europa League. We're top at the moment. I forgot about that. Yeah, so we're top at the moment, fourth in the league. Next game's coming up. We've got St. Etienne, Brest, Reims, uh, Copenhagen and Monaco. So that'll be our focus today on these December fixtures. So let's get cracking with the first game. Like I said, it will take me a few minutes to get back up to scratch with this. Um, but yeah, let's see how we get on the first game of the episode. Hopefully it'll be a good one. But yeah, thank you for the people who did drop in with me and just see how I am and, you know, stuff like that. Sometimes mental health just takes a, a bit of a toll. And uh, like I said, I just felt a bit burnt out. Um, I've always enjoyed making the content and when I'm not mate, when I'm not enjoying it, um, I will probably take a few weeks here and there just to recharge my batteries a bit, to be honest. Um, but yeah, like I said, other than that, I'm all right. Baxter's okay. Baxter the dog um, cost me a couple of thousand pounds. 
the other day. Oh, we're losing one now. Not, oh, no, VAR. Let's see what VAR says. Then I'll tell you about Baxter. What they're going to say. VAR. Goal awarded. Okay, that's annoying. All right, 1-0 down after 16 minutes. So, um, yeah, Baxter, my lovely little dog. Um, we gave, we got him these silicon toys because every time we give him a fluffy toy, he would destroy it in seconds. Oh, here we go. Things are going to get worse now. Pinto sent off. Um, and then we had this red silicon plastic toy and he started chewing it. But then the problem was he was chewing it and then also eating it. And some of it got lodged in his stomach. And he was terribly, he was quite, he was really ill for about four or five days where he wouldn't, he wouldn't really eat. Uh, no, actually, no, he did eat, but he would have really bad stomach problems, uh, both ends. And then the the thing that got me really scared is he didn't eat his food and then he was shaking even though it wasn't cold. So we rushed into the vets. Um, long story short, they F-U-C-K-E-D'd us, basically, because vets are very expensive and they know that people will pay it because we don't want our animals to die. Um, and we get very attached to our pets. We just scored then. How the hell are we even in this game? Anyway. So then we had to take him to the other vets. Um, they did some more x-rays. They said it wasn't anything to worry about in the end. And he just had a lot of like a trapped gas and stuff like that. So they gave him some meds. And over the next day or two, um, he got better. He started eating again. And um, he's all right now. He's back to normal. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, so he's back to normal. Luckily, we've got pet insurance, um, but it's still annoying because it takes it out of our, what we have. We have about £8,000 worth of cover for him. It costs us about £60 a month, which is not cheap, but we did it because we wanted to make sure that, because eventually the, the type of dog that he is, he will have to have, probably have to have, unless we're very lucky, um, a back surgery, which can cost up to ten grand. So we got like £8,000 pounds of cover just in case but yeah as you uh, as you can expect um but yeah like i said other than that i don't think much has happened in my life really to be honest my life's quite boring focusing more on going to the gym and stuff like that a bit more doing a bit more exercise um just trying to keep on top of that really Had a nice little win. Ah, free one. I had a nice little win on the football on Sunday in the um the Liverpool game, whoever they played. I can't remember who they played now. Let me think, who did they play? It's Chelsea, wasn't it? Yeah. So I um Liverpool Chelsea game, I had three players to get booked and um the Diego Jota was one of them. He come off and with William Hill and there's I think there's one or two other bookies, if a player gets taken off whoever the player that gets taken off if they get booked then that means the betters won so um yeah i was absolutely loving it when the chelsea players were winding up nunez and eventually nunez got booked and i was quite happy with that um so yeah so i won like 230 quid which is not too bad the last four weeks I've actually had a, a win on the football, whether it's a, a goal accumulator or one of them booking bets. So if, you, if you're a bit of a gambler and you don't like, and you want to try and win some money, try, um, I'm, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, but have a look on X slash Twitter and Google um, The Betting Village. And he does a load of these booking trebles that I follow. He is pretty good. He got another one. Last two nights in a row, he's had winners like 35 to 1, 25 to 1. Stuff like that. I only put like a fiver on each time when I do each one of them. So I pick the morning game with the Premiership and I pick whenever Man Knight is playing and I'll do whatever he suggests for that. Um, I do that Saturday and Sunday. So I spend about 60 quid a weekend, which is quite a, quite a bit really if, you're not, if you haven't got much money. But... Like I said, most of, most of the time lately, I'm not saying it happens all the time, um, most of the time lately I've done quite well. Um, but yeah, like I said, went to see Cadbury Athletic a couple of times. Um, yeah, so 
the first game I went to see them, they lost 5-1. And then I didn't go for a couple of weeks because of one reason or the other. And then I went uh, two weeks ago and they won like, I think they won like 5-2 or something like that. So, um, and I'm, I've got to know this bloke called Kev. And Kev is a really nice bloke. He's um, originally from Bristol. So he, what, he's been watching Cabri Athletic now because he lives in the area for many years. But he also goes and sees Bristol Rovers, his team. So we talk about them, we talk about Cavaliers, talk about my team, Man United, and it's just nice to have somebody, you know, I've got friends, but I don't really see them that often because they're, we're all quite busy with life, especially when you get to my age. Most of my friends are about 10 years younger than me as well. Um, the friends that I had that were my age, I don't like hanging out with them anymore because unfortunately, over time, I've realised that their behaviour is not acceptable and I wasn't willing to tolerate it anymore especially with my one best friend who was not very good with women um so yeah so I've I've took him out of my life which was quite sad because he was a really good like my he was literally my best friend for um 15 years now so but you know at the end of the day I can't I can't accept his behavior towards women Anyway, back on to this. Sorry, because I haven't seen you for a while. I'm just bloody rattling on anyway. Right, we've got to bounce back in this game because we lost the cent NTN and I'm not having that. So let's see how we get on. Down to fifth now, so we definitely need to win this game to get back up. Obviously, cent NTN replaced us as fourth after they beat us in the last game. So hopefully they can have a blip now and we can win and we can get back to fourth. But, I mean, I'd be ecstatic if we get in Europe again this season. I think we got into Europe last season. I can't remember what, I can't remember what position we finished now. That's how long it's been playing this game. I'll have a look after this. Has Pinto been... Oh, no, it's Patricio this time. I thought bloody Pinto was playing again. I thought, oh, that's a beautiful walk on, did I? We're not doing well here, are we? We're not, we're not, um, we're not sinking very well here since I've come back. I don't know what's going on. FM hasn't released another update, so I don't know why this tactic's not working all of a sudden. <clears throat> Come on, let's get a goal. Oh, I hope you lot are watching the network game stream um, with Work the Space, Lelujo, Dr. Benji and Zealand. Um, the highlight so far for me is basically uh, Lelujo has always had a saying, let's do a football. Go on, called on. Yes, called on. Sorry. Um, yeah. So Lujo's always had his little catchphrase called "Do a football," and um, Jack worked the space. Basically, decided to create a website called doafootball.com <laughs> to to um, Kev's annoyance, the Lu Lujo's annoyance. Sorry, um, it's quite funny. So yeah, so that's probably the highlight of the the, the stream so far. But yeah, it's very enjoyable. Card on again. That's more like it, lads. Back to back to normal now. Winning again. But yeah, definitely recommend watching. The, 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 all, all of them are doing highlight videos as well. So on YouTube. So you wouldn't necessarily need to watch the whole stream to get the best bits. But yeah, they are my... They tend to be my four favourite FM YouTubers. I think they're a lot of people's favourite FM YouTubers. Nice to see Dr. Benji back on fine form with him being on twitch every day and doing the youtube video highlight videos and um so you know nice to see him back to doing content because i think it's a lot better place when he's doing content i definitely highly recommend his gta uh, 5 role play stuff as well he is him him and these the the people that he um collaborated with so to speak a very a very funny so it's just quite a funny entertaining thing to watch but anyway i think we've got a penalty i'm just going to quickly hydrate sorry about this i think i had a dry mouth because it kept spitting all over the place right kofi get in three nil right Close shot now. Second half will be a lot easier. Uh, 
Angeli. Patriciano. By the way, I was watching foot. I was watching the football the other day, and literally the comment. Oh no, it wasn't. I was watching um, work the space on YouTube, and he literally commentates how I commentate. <laughs> but he just literally says the player's name and then goes Patricio to Paisley. To <laughs> um, so it ain't just me. I thought it was really boring what I was saying, but I think everybody does it. Oh, yes, get in. Carl on with his hat trick. He's had an amazing game. But um, you need to make some subs because we are we've got some tired legs on this pitch now. Um, so he can come on for him, and then we will put you on, Hernandez. Hernandez did really well last last episode. I remember, I remember him coming across as a future superstar for us. So hopefully. When Bastian's getting on a bit, we can uh, put Hernandez in there, and Hernandez could be his natural replacement. I'm not ready to replace Bastian just yet. He is a great asset to our team, one of our key players. But he's not going to be here forever, unfortunately. Yeah, 4 0. Kofi can come off for a bit. Not, I think we've got some day views here because, oh, great. Hernandez is injured. <laughs> oh, I hope it's not a long term injury. Can we hover on this? No. Right, they're gonna get they do get a consolation goal. Would have been nice to have the clean sheet, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, we still won. We didn't go past Saint Etienne, so they must have won. It doesn't matter. We will catch up with them eventually. Um three to six weeks, that's such a shame. Yeah, Kone, so we got a debut for Kone. Or Kone. I think it's Kone. Pronounced Kone. Yeah, Cardon definitely deserves some praise. Right. Sorry, my mouse just played up then. Right, I'm back in a sec. Right, so we're now playing Reims. Let's see how we get on. Uh, one thing I want to ask, and I know people probably don't have an opinion one way or another anyway. If you like me talking about um, my real life, type of stuff um let me know if you find it annoying and you'd rather just stick to football manager talk or, or the save just let me know in the comment section um one way or another so i don't want to come across as annoying talking about my life if people don't like that if you just come here i'm kind of just doing what like lujo does and that talking about what he gets up to on a daily basis as well because i feel like it kind of like for me, it like when when you get to know the the personality a bit more, you kind of like them a bit more. Oh, we're all the way up to third now. If we carry on this, uh, if we uh, keep this lead, but yeah, just let me know. Like I said, I'm probably overthinking it, and there might be like one person who's purposely going to say something who I think, um, just to troll me basically. But um, yeah, just let me know. Like I said, I don't want to put people off. I appreciate anybody that watches these videos all the way through. And I hope you're enjoying I hope you're enjoying the series. Even if you don't even if you don't necessarily like me too much because I talk too much or whatever. Um I hope that you do like the series and I hope that you like the, the, the story with Socho and the, the players like Kofi and Bastian that have been here from the start. Um we still got Papal for now, but he is going in the summer. Bastian, go on. Oh nearly. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted that Samantha Irving's left WWE, by the way. I understand her reasons, but I'm going to miss seeing her on screen. She's so beautiful, and she's such an amazing person as well. Um, and she's got a hell of a voice on her. So, you know, I hope she does well in the music career and acting and stuff. That's what she wants to do. Um, but, yeah, it won't. It will feel weird with somebody else, even though Lydia and Gossi is back. But for me, you know, like I said, I know Samantha Irving... She's like Marmite, you either like her or, or don't like her, but I was one of the people that did like her. Um, she come across as genuine as well, and she seemed really nice. So, you know, good luck to her. But yeah, like I said, it won't be the same without her. I know everybody, I know Ricochet's getting a lot of 
flack off people on Twitter and stuff like that because they feel like they forced Samantha to leave and that's not the story at all. Samantha, was, even before Ricochet was leaving, um, Samantha's told them that she wants to leave because they wouldn't let her do outside projects that much. So she's had to leave because she's got a passion. She doesn't want to have any regrets in her life and think, oh, I wish I... Uh, I wish I went. I wish I tried that music thing. If it doesn't work out, eventually she might come back, or she might go to AEW. She's got options. She's very talented. She's great. She's got a great voice. She can sing really well. She's good on the the flute, as they say. Um, you know, I can imagine she probably can do quite a lot of things. Happiness is more important than money, in my opinion. If you're not happy, then there's not. It's not. Point, there's no point being in the job. Go on, LeBron. Oh. Is that going to be another penalty? See what VAR says? No, no penalty, that's a shame. I wish I could take Diddar off. He is knackered. Here, I'll take him off. There you go. So we're down to 10 men with less than 10 minutes to go. Hopefully we can hold the lead. Like I said, we'll be up to third. Massive leap. We're very lucky that other teams probably haven't done well in their games. But we will take it third. We've gone from six to third in one game. There we go. Oh, Gastry. He's out. Oh, that's all right. Three or four weeks ain't too bad. Three weeks. Did opt out for a couple of weeks as well. All right. I'll just holiday here. Um... Yeah, let me know what you thought, what you're thinking of um, the wrestling lately. I don't know whether the audiences who watch this are wrestling fans as well. I'd assume so. Let me know what you think of WWE and AEW lately. Let's get some uh, let's get some feedback on the go. I do this way too quick by the way I keep forgetting that you lot are watching this um, I, it's just it's just like breathing for me to, I played this game so much I know exactly what to what to click on and stuff like that right let's see how we get on against Copenhagen in the U Europa League let's see if we can continue our unbeaten run and winning streak in the Europa League that would be good wouldn't it if we uh, get Champions League football by winning Europa League this season Oh my god, how did we not score there? Offside in the end, but... Didot's not going to be able to play the whole game by the looks of it. <clears throat> right, Paisley gives it to Popal. Popal back to Paisley. Beautiful. Kofi across to Patricio. Patricio passes it. Oh, no. A, bit, a nice bit of passing going on here, but nobody's willing to take a chance. Bastian loses it. That's a shame. Oh, no. Here we go. We look nervous for some reason. And we get punished. But Let's see what VAR says first. Yep, yeah, goal awarded. That is a shame. Try and demand a bit more. I want to keep this unbeaten run going. Ah, uh, we've been we've been knocked off the top spot now. Cardon's had to come off. Didot's going to have to come off now as well. This is not what we want to see right now. Two of our key players having to come off with thirty minutes of gameplay. Hopefully the subs can come on and uh, do well. Dumas is doing all right though so far. Uh, Angeli's not doing well there. I need to give him a telling off. If it lets me. Why won't it let me? Right, let's see what we got here. Angeli. Oh, nearly uh, proved the point to me there after giving him a telling off. Right, so that's. Three substitutions already in 45 minutes. Let's 
Let's hope the fresh legs will do well here. Mugen across. Beautiful ball to Patricio. Patricio now see what he can do. Someone take a shot. Low. Get in. Go on. Fallu low. Um, first ever goal for Socio. I don't think I don't know if he's making his debut, but it's uh is he a left back as well? He is we 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 are we are doing really well with the left backs. We've got too many good left backs, um, but not in any other positions. But yeah. Uh he's made like one substitute appearance for us so far. And uh that's it. But yeah. Good good way to come on and make a difference. One one. Yeah, Angeli's gonna have to come off. Actually, he's playing in a position that he's not too familiar with. Um so what's going on here? Let me just check this is all alright. No, he's on the left. I don't want him on the left. Right, so we put him there. Put him there. That should be better. Let's see if Angeli is better in his more familiar position here. He's got the corner. Floats it up. Gets headed out. Kofi with the ball now. Patricio. Beautiful ball. Go on, Angeli. Yes. Go on. The change. Oh, come on, ref. The R's going to ruin it now. Sorry, I've got a really itchy beard today. I do apologise. That's very distracting for people. Yes, get in. Go on, Angeli. Change did him good. Terry can come off instead. We've got our own little Gerard here as his replacement. We're back to top of the league. Good, good, good. Let's see if we can get another one though. Low. So we're going to have Low and Fernandez in contention for Bastion's place as left back. Oh, beautiful by Patricio there. Oh. We've also got Patricio can play on the left. Um, I think Pinto can play on the left. We seem to have a lot of left-sided fullbacks. But actually, saying that, that we've got Pinto and Patricio that can play on the right. We've probably got others as well. So, Samasa can play there as well. Patricio with the throw-in gets it back with 1-2 with Angeli. Angeli. Oh, Angeli nearly got another goal. Oh, we can't take any more players off. That's fine. Oh no, here they go. They got a free kicker. They're going to punish us now. Oh, good save by Popal. He's been a good servant to the club, Popal. I will miss him. Oh, I just think he, we just need a change in goal. I think he's um, done all he can do, really. We need young, fresh blood in there. Sorry, I've got hiccups out of nowhere. Right, we get, we're piling up the injuries now. Managed to get through to the final 16 of the Europa League. Um, I think this is the last... Is this the last game of December? Where are we? No. No, it's not. What am I about? How many more games have we got left in December? Oh, no, it is. Yeah, because we've got the mid-season break, as they call it. So, we'll do this game now. And then we'll call it a day. I'm trying to get the episodes about half an hour each um like i said one episode of the social save per week now if people comment a few times to say that they would like two episodes a week i can do it um but i just don't want to like i said i don't want to burn myself out unless there's the demand um i think also as well you lot might get a bit fed up having two episodes a week because it's a big commitment because i know what it's like i watch a lot of youtubers and they have like videos every week some of them have episodes every day and it's very hard to be able to watch everything uh and that that especially with i mean even with me who unfortunately doesn't have a job at the moment um i have a lot of time to be watching tv but like there's so many things i watch on tv that um gets in the way i'll i'll, I'll literally tell you what my routine is so i get up about six o'clock six o'clock in the morning because my future mother-in-law gets up about five o'clock in the morning and decides to wake everybody up because she doesn't she because she's up she wants everybody else to be up because she's a miserable sod um so i get up about six o'clock i come down i watch the uh 
I watch the soaps from the night before, and then I end up watching classic Emmerdale because I'm very sad. I know. I just it's just force of habit. I've I've always watched the soaps when I was with my uh, parents when I was a kid, so it just brings back happy memories. And I love watching classic Emmerdale because it reminds me of when times were good, <laughs> and not not when not the the hell that we live in at the moment in 2024. Um, and uh yeah so i enjoy i enjoy watching that and then i watch youtube videos oh no so no i don't actually and then i get and then i go to the gym i walk the dog first sorry then i'll go to the gym then i'll do my recordings and then i'll sit for a few hours i'll watch youtube videos or if i've got anything i've recorded like family guy or impractical jokers for example i'll watch them um and then i'll give back to another walk and then i probably go back to watching youtube again or i'll watch I work my way through. I've got like the 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 other Walking Dead series, you know, the ones with the ones they've brought out recently. The I'm trying to think what they're called now. What they're called when they when they take some an, a character from a main show and then they create a, another show with that character. But yeah, basically them. So I'm working my way through them slowly but surely. Um, but yeah, and then and then my girlfriend gets back, so then we watch stuff that we like to watch together. one one but that's usually my uh, routine and then obviously i've got like 20 hours of wrestling to watch a week and that doesn't even include is it 20 no 20 is an exaggeration but near enough 20 because you've got wwe smackdown that's two hours WWE Raw that's two hours now but it was three hours um i, I don't watch nxt but i feel like i, I should start watching nxt because it is a pretty good show and i feel like i'm missing out on certain things with that so that's two hours as well, so that might bump it up a bit. Uh, um, but yeah, I watch WWE stuff with my girlfriend. She doesn't. She watches some AEW stuff. For me, she likes Will Ospreay because he keeps saying "bruv," and she likes saying "bruv" how he says it, um, which is quite funny. But yeah, so we watch WWE together, and then I watch AEW on my own. And AEW's got like about six hours, and that's before the, the pay per views. And then obviously AEW have like five hour pay per views, which is ridiculous. So sometimes it's like like a fifteen hour week of watching wrestling, and it was just I love watching wrestling. A lot of the times I just have it in the background. I don't really watch it unless it's yes, yeah, score on two two. Unless it's um like I said, like a standout match because I got a few wrestlers in AEW that I really like watching, like Will Ospreay, Ricochet, um, the Beast Mortos, Hologram, uh, Orange Cassidy, Carl O'Reilly. Mark, I love Mark Briscoe. He's so awesome. Um, and then there's characters that I like, like MJF character. I don't mind him in the ring. He he does do his best when he's in the ring. I like John Moxley's character. Eddie Kingston's one of my favourites as well. So I do have more favourites in AEW than I do WWE, but overall I do prefer watching WWE. It just seems a lot better at the moment with the storylines and stuff. yeah let me know what you like about let me know who your favorite wrestlers are at the moment in the comment section i would appreciate it. i know this is a football manager uh video but like i said i'm passionate about wrestling i always have been my mom said to me if i focused as much on my studies as i did about wrestling i'd have been one of the smartest kids ever um because i was super i think it's because i'm i think I've not, i'm not had it diagnosed but i think i'm on the spectrum and i get super oh what a comeback I get super focused on certain things that I'm passionate about. And then when I want to do something, I'll put all my energy into it to to like which is a blessing and a curse as well. So like when I started doing this YouTube stuff, I I put a lot of effort into it. I bought things to make the, the, the room look nicer with the the backdrop and all that lot. I I bought the the mic, the camera, the the mic stand and all that lot. I spent a lot of money on that. I've got LED lights. I wanted to get everything right before I even started recording. Um, and then, like I said, I was recording videos every day. Um, it's you know you see thirty minutes of a video, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be thirty minutes because I've got to do editing, which takes time as well. So, and I don't mind doing it. Don't get me wrong, I like doing it. Um, I appreciate when people say that they like the video. It makes it worth it. Go on, 40. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think what happened with that was I burnt myself out doing it too much. But that's what happens when I super focus on things. 
I do it to the point where it just knackers me out after a while. Anyway, 4-2, we've absolutely turned this around. But you never know, there's still time for them to get another goal or two. Which they're probably going to do now. He's offside, surely. That's he's offside, isn't he? That's got to, That's not going to count. I don't think that'll count, will it? Yeah, I was going to say he was miles offside, but you just never know on this bloody game. Yeah, so we're still third with this win. We're five points behind Marseille, and we're seventeen points behind PSG. So that just shows you how much of a gap we've still got. I mean, this is the PSG team that's still got Mbappe, they've got Musala, they've got Mouani, I think. They've got Emery. Um, let's have a look, actually. Uh, PSG. Yeah, I mean, look, they've got this Diego Sosa, Masala, Ugarte, Emery. Is, is Mbappe still there? Have they got rid of him? They haven't, have they? Hold on, let's type, type him in. I think he's still there, but he's probably injured. That's why he's not coming up. Yeah, he's still there. He's 31 years old. Kylian Mbappe, uh, not for sale. 150 caps, 120 goals for France. How many goals has he got in his career? So, four, 429 appearances, 306 goals, 63 assists. He's just ridiculous, isn't he? He's a ridiculous man. In real life, he's starting to show that he is a world-class player because he's gone to Real Madrid. He started slow, but he's starting to pick it up a bit now. Um, but yeah, he'll go down as one of the greats of all time, Mbappe. I don't think he'll go down as good as Messi or Ronaldo, but he'll definitely be up there. And it, he, he's still got plenty of years left in him that he can actually surpass Messi and Ronaldo when it comes to like goal records and stuff trophies because he's at Real Madrid now and he's in the prime of his life he can probably play there now for 10 years and win the Champions League nearly every season because Real Madrid do right then on that note I'm going to call it a day for this episode um, but thank you as always for watching I'll be back sorry I'm just moving this along I'll be back next Wednesday with another episode of the So Show Save this Friday I've got the Coventry City Retro Database Save so tune into that if you want to see something a bit different. And uh, I'll, like I said, I'll be back next week. Enjoy the rest of your week. And thanks for your support. All the best. Bye.